winning the base vehicle at the beginning is just around the corner of the world. The strongest spear of my army is composed of robots, hitters, general executioners, relief ships, and superpower wave destruction devices. Red Alert 3 Cthulhu's novels of infinite flow, together with evil gods and tentacles, meat mud, eyes and limbs, will one day get rid of them and become the supreme deity, achieving evolution and variation. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. 1. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Establishing one's own regime, even if it is small and vulnerable, is a small fantasy for a man of his own. That day, that night, that mature night, I received the gift of fate. Just like an old saying goes. The price of every gift of fate is already marked after it. I don't know which deity gave me this gift, but I will see it as a turning point in my life. That day, that night, that mature night, it said to me on my computer, Welcome back, Commander. After that, I fell into a coma and woke up to find myself on the island battlefield. What woke me up was the voice of the gods, not men but women. He said, according to tradition, no third party is allowed to interfere in the confrontation between Jin San and Shinji. Why don't you take advantage of the bad old man Jin San and the annoying Xianji to fight each other to the death first, and then easily deal with them? There is a more transparent map in the upper right corner of the field of view, with a line of words below. Money, 100000. A base car was in front of me, and it said, hashtag 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 hashtag. Sorry. I'm not from the same country as it, I don't understand what it's saying. But at this moment, in this situation, as the commander of the Red Alert Three Empires, where can I not be clear about what exactly happened? Coincidentally, there were two mineral resources piled up with unlimited resources not far away, and I immediately decided to deploy the base vehicle. The sound of the base car came again. I don't understand what it's saying. I understand that there is no possibility of establishing communication with it. According to the strategy of computer games, I should have clicked on the area belonging to F with the keyboard, which is the deployment location, and then used the mouse to determine which location is suitable for deployment. But now, I can only listen to what the base car is repeating. Are you paying tribute to me? Well, the more I think about it, the more likely it is, and the more I guess, the more I feel like it's asking me where to deploy it. Otherwise, why did he keep saying a word to me? Very good, I said, please deploy here. So, foreign products turned into stars in front of me, and after a few seconds, they turned into bases. This is the base vehicle for nano-core technology. I nodded. According to the fragments from memory, I know that only power stations and barracks can be built now. After the power plant is completed, the production workshop of the mining vehicle can be unlocked. I forgot its name. And later tank factories can also produce mining vehicles. First build five power plants. Then build. Done, I don't know what that is called. And it was abnormal from the beginning. They are all foreign products, how can this base car know what I'm talking about? Next, a commander in a stillborn womb. Is it still useless even if there is a base vehicle available? Fortunately, fate has blessed me once again. The sound of the base came again, this time it was a familiar voice to me. She said, Welcome back, commander. Then she said, The deputy commander has been introduced. The base was operating according to its program, and I watched it work. When it went its own way, it built and deployed tank factories, shipyards, and battle command centers, as well as machine gun fortresses and towers. I asked it, what are you? It said, deputy commander. As the commander's deputy, greet the commander. I said, what should I do? It says, command the war. I said, what will we do after we win? It said, welcome to the next war once again. There is no end to it. 
I said, who is the deputy commander? I mean, is it a computer, a technological core, or someone's cloud personality? Or what is it? It says, the deputy commander is the commander's deputy, the commander's understanding of war, the person who assists the commander in participating in the war, and it is also the community of Nanocore. My doubts were not answered at all, and I asked, if I die, will you become a commander? It said, there is no relevant information on Nanocore. Commander, our war is waiting for you. I inspected the familiar base and found that its layout was the same as mine. The positions of the front tower and machine gun bunker of the headquarters were the same. By the way, I vaguely remembered that machine gun bunkers are not called machine gun bunkers, they are called X.1, and there are two modes, namely air defense and ground defense. Forget it, let's call it a machine gun bunker. When it comes to air defense, it's called an anti-aircraft gun. I thought for a moment, why not ask the deputy commander in such an environment where every second counts? I pointed to the machine gun bunker and said, what is this called? The deputy commander said, there is no relevant information on the nanocore, it should be called a machine gun bunker. I am speechless. Can it read the mind before? No wonder. I said, the Tengu robot turns into a flying machine, the hitter turns into a helicopter in anti-air form, and goes according to the plan to destroy the enemy base. From near to far. Everything goes according to the plan. If you really understand. Quickly, the deputy commander told me through his actions that he knew my personality like the back of his hand. After all, he could even know when to build and what to do, so it wouldn't be easier to deal with attacks and defenses when. I asked the deputy commander, will my interference with you reduce your efficiency? It said, the deputy commander follows the commander, like cherry blossoms blooming and withering, everything is in the plan, including our conversation. When I heard this, I was already a little confused. So what is the meaning of my existence for you? It says, it's meaningless. Just like the Tengu robot is to me. I am to the Tengu robot. Nanocore has no such information. On the map at the corner of my eye, my troops are engaged in battle with the enemy. If I'm not mistaken, it's Shinji fighting. I waited for two minutes, and my troops destroyed Shinji's base. I waited for five minutes, and my troops destroyed Jin San's base. Victory in war. The next thing I encountered was a gift from the gods, just like inexplicably giving me a base vehicle. The map was changed, the base was restored to its original state, and even the newly formed troops disappeared without a trace. I asked the deputy commander in the base vehicle, what's going on now? But it said to me, welcome back, commander. Salute to commander. Has the beginner's tutorial ended? From the map, the almost borderless darkness surrounded my base vehicle and me. At the beginning, there were only two minerals. Although resources are unlimited, when the share of mining reaches, each mining is only a fraction of the initial amount. This affects the number of construction units at the same time. I know I only have one chance. If I fail, it will be the end of the base being destroyed, and the one who welcomes me may be death. Of course, it would be even better if you were going back home through go home. Anyway, it's all a gift from God. Speaking of which, the map this time is very large, even larger than the previous one, which means there are many minerals waiting for me. Okay, let's not think too much. The resources I haven't received yet don't belong to me. The expansion of the base is proceeding in an orderly manner. A few minutes later, I sent the Tengu robot, which was converted into an airplane, to fly and conduct reconnaissance outside the known area. At the same time, Towers and machine gun bunkers are also gradually being built outside. The view of the map is gradually opening up. Finally, 40 minutes later, the Tengu robot found the town where humans were gathering. That's right, it's a human town. There are people inside. It looks like it's from the Middle Ages, I wonder if they have any illusions about the flying machines in the sky. At this moment, 
the prepared general executioner is on standby inside the base, and the prepared superpower wave destruction device is ready. I understand the ruthlessness of war, and targeting unarmed civilians goes against my conscience. But reality is not a game, it's better to start first. Fortunately, I have enough Red Alert 3 mods, and the superpower wave destruction device has a magical function of brainwashing and allowing soldiers from hostile forces to join me. Excellent commanders will not betray their own troops, and even better commanders know the timing of betraying their troops. The best commanders will lead their own people to a happy life. These are a few words on the deployment of the super energy wave destruction device. If I remember correctly. 2. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. A city with a population of 100,000 is enough to deploy generals and executioners. If there is no action, it is still a manifestation of not valuing. This is not in line with my war strategy. Perhaps someone will say that I am a thug. However, in order to reduce the potential threat, I decided to go and explore with the general's executioner and his troops before giving them the final blow. I stood above the head of the general's executioner, overlooking the scene roaring past. There are forests, grasslands, graves, and ruins, finally stopping in front of a city. Order the infantry descending from Thunderbolt to enter the city to check their armed distribution and be ready to launch the Omega Superwave Destruction Device at any time. Hello, hello, who are you without a card in the card? What's going on outside? Strange language is actually something that can be understood. I heard it through my earphones, and I didn't feel any joy of encountering an old friend from a foreign land. The deployment of Red Alert 3 by the Imperial Army on this planet is undoubtedly about to start a war. If the enemy's language comes from the last visitor, the unlucky guy in our common kingdom, then I am undoubtedly in big trouble. If there are visitors to this planet, let the relief ship following escort cover the ground troops from the air. I know what will happen next is whether I have good contact with this planet. If everything is good, war will not come. On the contrary, it is a massacre of all ages and genders. The people in this city have enough self-awareness, and their lord, led by my ground troops, came to the hands of the general's executioner. He said, for the new world. With hands clasped together and flying off the ground, Peng's explosion turned flesh and blood into a huge creature, half the size of the general's executioner. It suddenly pounced on me and my mount. I watched this scene coldly without any emotion, because I had an indifferent attitude towards the unexpected development in front of me, and because I believed in my army. Although this army was only a model on the computer a day ago, I could only view this ideal army on the computer. As the general's executioner waved his wave energy knife, this ugly beast fell to the ground, and the relief ship did not even take any action from beginning to end. Let the people in the city choose another representative to speak to me. Ground troops surrounded the town one after another, leaving room for the release of high-dot-energy wave destruction devices. Three hours later, the people from the town came to me and said, everything was a misunderstanding. We didn't know that the mayor was associated with an evil god. Please be wise. I said, do you surrender to me? He said, we surrender. So, my troops stayed outside the town, and I foolishly followed them with a few ground troops to the Lord's Mansion, where there were evil god cubs waiting for me. Faced with the enemy leader who delivered goods to her doorstep, she said, what fresh food from another dimension. She pinned down my infantry unit, and my tank unit inexplicably became paralyzed, as if encountering a natural enemy, without the ability to move or even attack. She is an ordinary female figure, and as she poked the tentacles exposed by her fingertips into my nose and even in front of my brain, I said, letting go of us is letting go of yourself. Otherwise, my troops will destroy this place, including you. She said, I don't know. Speaking, she poked her tentacles into my brain, and waves of electric current connected me and her. Tens of thousands of images appeared in my mind, and memories were intercepted by fragments. After a burst of electric current and silence, she surprisingly shared her memories with me. 
she has no name or surname, is an extraterrestrial creature, and is an excellent vanguard under the hands of evil gods. She spends most of her time eating, yes, she's starving and even eats dirt. In her memory, she seemed to just enjoy the process of eating, almost pulling whatever she ate. She derives her daily needs from eating itself. In a daze, she withdrew her tentacles from my brain and said, Welcome to my farm. You will become my deputy and lead this hell. I fell to the ground, unable to recover my thoughts from her memory for a while. When I replied, my first order was to have the non-paralyzed troops leave the vicinity. I asked her, why did you keep me alive? She said, because you can bring more life. Originally, she was thinking about my soldier unit. I wanted to leave her, but she said, I have left something in your mind. If you dare to betray my trust, you will die. In this situation, even if it is inevitable, there is no need to hesitate. I have ordered the release of the superwave destruction device outside this city. Of course, it won't harm anyone. At the moment of release, there was a sound echoing in the ears of all living beings on this planet, which was an official term for brainwashing and a great breakthrough for all non-friendly individuals by a different world civilization. Quickly, an unnamed extraterrestrial creature crawled on the ground, expressing loyalty to me. She said, I am deeply sorry. Supreme Commander. I said, remove the things left in my mind. As the words fell, the earth shook and the halo changed before my eyes, and I collapsed unconsciously. Her words arrived late. There's no other way. When I woke up, this non-human body was placed in front of me, while she was still crawling on the ground. I asked her, what happened? She said, I have tried my best to keep you self-reliant and independent, but ultimately you will still belong to my offspring, unless. I said, unless for what? She smiled and said, unless you eat me. I have gained an extra mother for no reason, even losing my human identity. I feel helpless, and by the time I master the human transformation technique, it will be more than ten minutes later. When I became human, I found the man who deceived me into entering the city and asked him, does the evil god you mentioned have the ability to turn extraterrestrial creatures into humans? After thinking for a moment, he definitely replied, yes. So, I led my troops on the path of searching for evil gods. One month later, thousands of generals and executioners are scattered around the towns of this planet, waiting in front of the city walls. The planet is already under my rough control. In the battle command room, I drank the chrysanthemum juice she handed me and pondered how much value this peaceful planet still had to be utilized. She seemed to have understood my idea and said, why don't we give birth to enough offspring to completely rule over this backward planet? I had no idea of agreeing with her suggestion at all, shook my head, and rejected it because I knew that the gifts given by the gods would inevitably come at a cost. If there were a day to pay the price, I would almost be destined to wander. Just like cherry blossoms rotting on their roots. I aspire to exist in human society as a human, just like before. 3. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The plan to regain human identity quickly arrived at my desk. I carefully looked at it and quickly found the optimal option, and even its evolutionary version. I have a draft in my mind. But now that things have reached this point, is it a bit like picking sesame seeds and losing watermelons to cling to human identity? It's time to abandon your human identity, Jojo. I chose not to be the right person. That's right, I am such a short dot sighted person who lacks the common sense of pride in human identity. If it's not human, I can gain more. Why insist on being human? Perhaps by the time she inserted her tentacles into my brain, I had already died, and all that exists now is a replacement who has inherited all the legacy of her predecessors. This idea only appeared in my mind for a few minutes, and soon left my brain, which was no longer human. Because I have discovered a proposal about the soul, which explains the exploration of the soul and precise information about evil gods that have developed in this world for thousands of years from ancient times to the present. Is there another world? 
I should have thought of it long ago. That's right, the evil gods come from another world, which has already achieved the complete monster of humanity. The information on how to monster humanity has also leaked to this world, and the first step is to stump everyone in this world. Firstly, it is necessary to find something with infinite energy. I thought for a moment, isn't it that I have tens of thousands of infinite resources in my hands? Moreover, my mineral resources are also infinite, and the first step is completely difficult for me. The second step is to integrate the existence of infinite resources with the technology of evil gods. There is no third step left. I was stunned, is this the secret of the evil god? It's a bit uncomfortable. So soon, I brought the newly built base vehicle to me and slowly integrated it with the knowledge of evil god technology. There is almost no change, except that a part of the body can be transformed into a base vehicle, like laying an egg, producing a base vehicle from within the body. I know I can't produce the second one anymore because I only integrated one. Nanocore technology supports the existence of two identical buildings at the same time, but the world doesn't support it. I don't support it either. Based on the resolution of the soul protocol, I found that my soul is no longer a soul. It has become a substance similar to the body, similar to saliva that can be secreted. I can take as much as I want, which has deviated from the concept of humanity. Climbing to the sky in one step is nothing more than that. She was at the scene of my fusion base vehicle, and when I finished fusion, she said, Commander, have you really decided this? I asked in confusion, what will be decided? She said, abandon my mother body and become the only existence of the race. I thought for a moment and said, this is inevitable. Do you have anything to do? The implication is that you are too much in charge, right? She sighed. Nothing can hide from the commander. I want to go back to my hometown and hope the commander can accompany me. Go home. Let me accompany you. Why? She shyly pinched and said, because you are the only child who has escaped my control, we are a perfect match. I don't understand how non-humans think about it. It's obvious that she doesn't understand what humans think about it. I said, no, I don't approve. This planet is my property. If your tribe finds out about me through you, wouldn't I be in danger? It's late, I've already sent back the commander's message. They're probably all on their way here now. I frowned and asked her, where do they come from? Are they enemies? She said, everyone is a good person. Everyone thinks that following you is also a good choice. Anyway, evil gods cannot control us. A month later, the space portal opened on a plane thousands of miles away, and a group of monsters followed them to this planet. Looking down from high altitude, the planet was gradually being covered by them. There is also an unknown area on the transparent map in the corner of my eye. I immediately lost my power and dispatched a team of Tengu robots to fly to that unknown area. Soon, the map was refreshed, and I found a blank area that would not harm innocent people. I released a superpower destruction device. In an instant, I had another planet under my command. Let those monsters return to their planet where they reside, and at this point, I found a balance between monsters and humans, allowing these two different worlds to go their separate ways. The sustainable space portal stands tall on the plane, and on a dark day, I decided to go to the planet where evil spirits haunt and take a look. After all, it's an evil god. How can one easily let go of the opportunity to meet an evil god in this lifetime? Taking the Tengu robot to the space portal, the first thing I did when getting off the plane was to finish drinking the chrysanthemum juice on my hand. On the plane, I was only thinking about whether to go to that planet and maintain human form, completely forgetting that there was still a box of chrysanthemum juice waiting for me to suck on. Then, he arrived alone in the world of monsters. There are four moons in the sky, blood red, deep blue, snow white, and gray purple, each with its own charm. I chose a direction and spat on the ground, transforming into a base vehicle. I waited in place for a few minutes, letting the newly formed troops explore the world. 
I then swallowed the newly produced base vehicle. Actually, I was unnecessary. When the troops set off, I realized that because this planet is all my people, I casually summoned the nearest monster subordinate and asked her, do you know if there are humans here? Or are there ruins left by humans? She said, Commander, all the humans here have become extinct, and only a few have evolved into members of our group. As for the ruins of humanity, I don't know. After listening to these words, I know it's useless to continue. Places with many people have no value in exploration. I dispatched troops to explore the sparsely populated area, and a few months later, the map showed me a hostile force. There are no soldiers stationed there. The deputy commander thoughtfully dispatched a team of engineers to occupy according to my inevitable logic. After a long wait, the engineers finally got off the Thunder Reconnaissance vehicle and occupied the buildings of the hostile forces. That is a remnant building of local human power. What's not important anymore, what's important is that my subordinates have captured a few Chinese people who are full of Chinese. Bringing them to my face, I pretended to ask them, where did you get to work? Tell them all. Otherwise, you'll be dead. Wow. Little Japanese. Japanese devils go to hell. Ha ha ha, there's actually a little Japan here. Heaven's death in China has made little Japan rampant here. I saw this and understood each other's attitudes towards foreign countries. I sighed and spoke in Chinese, I lied to you. Actually, I. 4. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Forgive my out-of-tune humor. If my cells are still human cells. I actually found Chinese people in this foreign world, and I asked them, what are you doing here? Their leader sneered, you haven't proven to us yet that you are Chinese. I play with the flavor. How can I prove it? He said, do you eat bean curd jelly served with sauce salty or spicy? I was surprised. Can this question be filtered out to see if it's Chinese? I quickly replied, I like it without sugar or spicy, just eat the original flavor. Your Excellency must be Chinese. That's what I said, but if I really take them off guard, wouldn't I be a primitive scapegoat? Quickly, after their introduction to this place ended, I learned that it was an extraterrestrial exploration station with branches spread all over the world. So far, only one surviving human remains here. There will always be rewards when there is effort. My reward to them is to watch an explosion, the explosion of a super wave destruction device. I don't understand why such a tall device needs to be accompanied by an explosion, but some of them look good. As expected, they will become my troops. Although it is an infinite resource, the wave superpower wave destruction device that has restarted the countdown is still a significant investment. I hope these Chinese people can live up to the sacrifices I have made. Twenty minutes later, they reported all their intelligence to me, even telling me what color of pants they liked. I was thinking about why they called this area where evil spirits roam twisted jungle. A Chinese person saw my confusion on my face. Perhaps it was because he had just finished talking about the reason for Twisted Jungle. He explained to me, most of the creatures here are magical species that distort natural rules. That's why this is called Twisted Jungle. It's the name given to this base station by our country. It's another word for the country's ultimate exploration purpose. The original word is. Beta-1 Experimental Zone. I nodded to indicate that I understood. Soon I had a new question. How did you survive here? He said, God bless our country. Although evil gods appear here, they always avoid us. I mean, how did you maintain yourself from the first wave of explosion? My superpower wave destruction device covers the world. He said, the evil gods not only avoid us, but also provide us with shelter. It is the shelter he gives us that keeps us safe from the brainwashing storm. Not necessarily, how could there be such an evil god who likes Chinese people? I think it's useless to continue, so I talked about another topic. What have you put in on this land? He said, no. With a flash of inspiration, 
I understood that these were a group of lucky ones, but there are still doubts about how they managed to survive the explosion of the superwave destruction device. After visiting their experimental branch, I raised my final question. How do you get back to Earth? He said, there is no way to contact us. We are an independent experimental station here, and once we have a way back, we will definitely not stay here anymore. I understood and said, so you are also experimental subjects. Since it's an experimental product, there's nothing to talk about. Hurry up the time, my deputy commander has established several bases, including several generals and executioners. I called out to the nearest monster subordinate and asked her, who was your former leader? Did you have an official? We have a president who is in the north. Half a month later, the Tengu robot brought a monster leader. I asked her where the evil gods on this planet were, and she told me they were on the moon. I asked her which moon they were on, and she said they were on every moon. Two years later. The relief fleet is waiting for me to go to the moon, accompanied by the generals and executioners. I believe even the evil gods of the enemy will bow down to my powerful army. The fact proves that I was wrong. As soon as I arrived at the moon, I realized that the reason why the moon was different in color was because the evil gods were also different in color. They ordered fleets heading to other moons to return quickly. I landed on the moon, and tentacles several miles in front of me rushed towards me. The general executioner swung his sword forward, and the huge wave energy knife split the tentacles in half. The spilled blood stained the general executioner's body, and the accompanying omega shockwave shattered the tentacles of the evil gods, unable to maintain even a drop of blood intact. Perhaps even the nanoscale has been dealt a devastating blow. I watched the general's executioner crush the tentacles of the evil god, which was very interesting. What kind of creature can be called an evil god? What strange abilities does it have? I have decided to leave this dangerous planet. Maybe I shouldn't have come here from the beginning. While riding on the Tengu robot to leave, spanning a distance of several light years, fortunately the Tengu robot flew fast enough. Entrust the deputy commander to fight against the evil gods on one side. The general's executioner's attack was massive, and after several months of war, the evil gods were surrounded and killed at the origin of the moon's back. The captured evil god's heart is constantly trembling, placed on the square below the combat command room. Looking at it, I inexplicably understood the knowledge of the evil gods, and knowledge about devouring evolution kept emerging from the depths of my mind. Without hesitation, I arrived at the square and waited for other hearts to be transported down from the moon, not knowing how long it would take, probably at least half a month. Not long after, I prostrated myself at the feet of my instincts, transformed into a monster, and began to devour this huge, living heart. Perhaps the method was right, and in fifteen minutes, the heart of the evil god merged with me, and I understood the mystery of devouring. From now on, any life will find its place on my plate. Half a month later, different hearts arrived downstairs in the battle command room. This time, I understood that this was the heart of energy mysteries. With the knowledge emerging in my mind, I integrated it with myself, and from now on, all energy will not harm me at all. The question is. How much did it cost to kill this evil god who can ignore the Omega Shock Wave? I counted and found it acceptable. A month later, different hearts were placed downstairs in the combat command room. I spent some time receiving them, and finally, there were no more evil gods here, only me, the commander who was capable of fighting against them. I thought for a moment, should I give it a resounding nickname, such as the Evil God Destroyer? Think about it carefully, let's forget it. It's Red Alert 3 that makes a fortune. It's better to call it the commander of the Red Alert 3 Empire. If you don't fall for a young man, that's all. 5. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Adhering to the concept of humility and reason, I once again asked the Chinese if they have a way to return to Earth. He said to me, Commander, if there is, I will definitely tell you. Chinese people who are friendly units on my map are trustworthy. I don't have much to say anymore. 
Sitting on the back of the Tengu robot, we arrived at the northernmost point of this planet, the North Pole, to test our own abilities. It seems that I am already invincible. There are no more than fifty generals or executioners, and no one can do anything about me. This is the unit lost during the campaign against the evil God Road, which was a close combat loss, while the relief ship was completely unaffected. If the deity were present, I should have already completed the mission he assigned to defeat the enemy. So what are we going to do next? I was eating seals while pondering about life's choices. Masaka. Have I not defeated all my opponents yet? By the way, there are power plants in human cities and military factories in the wild. Do we have to destroy all of these? The more I think about it, the more reasonable it becomes. Playing games in the beginning was a similar process. It seems that I can only choose the path of major reforms. Anyway, this planet also needs a unified country to be established. Let me measure it. It took me some time to return to the combat command center, and I issued orders to carry out major global human reforms, including but not limited to the reconstruction of power plants, barracks, mining equipment, arsenal, and tank factories. By the way, the world has not yet developed to the level of power plants. Where did my opponent come from in terms of architecture? To what extent can victory in war be achieved? I remember a sentence. War is the continuation of politics. Do I still have to carry out political reforms? The more I think about it, the more outrageous it becomes. The plan to cleanse humanity has already been incorporated into the plan of war. For the sake of my conscience, I have decided to give the humans on this planet some way out. In the battle command room, I have set a 10. Your major reform strategy of replacing old houses with new ones. The advanced plan includes demolishing buildings from all over and rebuilding buildings that belong to me. The ultimate plan is to destroy all traces of the existence of old humans and let the new world that belongs to me shine with my own light. Finally, in a ten year sleep, I replaced the influence of evil gods on the two planets, allowing Red Alert three empire buildings to spread across both planets and their moons, and humanity took a solid step towards unity. And the gods also gave me the reward I deserved at noon ten years later. Task completed, start the next round of battlefield. He said so to me. Space is changing, and in the blink of an eye, I have arrived at a new battlefield. The base vehicle is deployed nearby. Welcome back, commander. The deputy commander has been imported. Salute to the commander. I asked it, what about my troops in the last war? It says, nanocores do not have this information. I thought for a moment and waited for a few minutes before going out with the troops to explore. Forty minutes later, I arrived at the human town, which had a medieval appearance and was bustling with people coming and going. I arrived at the Lord's mansion with my troops, and someone came out to greet me. As I walked, he said, I didn't expect you to come here, so I'm sorry I didn't greet you far away. He still wanted to shake hands with me, but of course I wouldn't shake hands with him anymore. At least I am also the commander of the Red Alert 3 Empire. If someone were to shake hands with me, wouldn't I be too busy? I knew I didn't get along well with him, so I opened the door and said, I will be your commander, and you need to show loyalty. Before I could finish speaking, the lord of this city began his anomaly. The previous lord had turned into a huge beast, but this lord collapsed on the ground, convulsing uncontrollably. I leaned down and asked him, what's wrong with you? He frothed in his mouth as he ate and ate, it seemed that he was not far from death. I ignored him, just as he was not important to me at all. I looked at this town and ordered the deployment of the superwave destruction device. In an instant, an explosion occurred on the barren hills outside the city. A murmur echoed in everyone's ears. I gained a full map view and all the combat power of a planet at the same time. I am honored at this moment, and the name of Planet Unifier is automatically worn again. To my surprise, dozens of cities blocked my superpower wave destruction device. There are still large groups of hostile troops there. 
I understand now that this war has escalated, from the need to intervene in disputes between evil gods and humans to the confrontation with human allies. Let's choose the nearest town as our goal. Although persimmons need to be picked for softness, solving problems first represents a smooth road ahead. The army gathered, the core of the tower, and the core of the machine gun fortress were gradually being laid out to the human coalition's base. I don't know how they hindered my conquest of them, but I know how to destroy them. Soon, the new high-dot-energy wave destruction device was ready. I chose the town with the most humans to deploy, and in an instant, the town was buried in an explosion, where countless enemy troops died. Drinking and brainwashing with a light smile has had an impact on me. I have all the active troops rush towards the human alliance. My red alert three imperial soldiers are all self.sufficient, and the local natives cannot be so lucky. Today next year, there will be a situation of 9 out of 10. My conscience advises me not to be so cold-blooded, but my determination is telling a firm truth. There is no sacrifice without victory. It is better to sacrifice someone who is not in one's own army than to regret one's heartfelt choice after making it. Wait, I suddenly thought of the political strategy after the previous war. So I shuffled all the decisions, allowing the local indigenous people to return to their hometowns, and engaged in a 10 year reform with local officials. This time, I decided that war and politics would coexist. I will make the world unified. The only purpose of this is a completely possible artificial miracle, and my troops will bring me the outcome I have decided, just like in the previous war. Three months later, I arrived in front of a town where the super wave destruction device was not working. This is a city with millions of people. It protects dozens of slightly smaller towns with millions of people nearby. I don't know why the Iron Curtain protects it and its soldiers, rendering my superpower wave destruction device useless. So, the Omega Oscillation Wave should also be useless. Although I haven't tried it before, I can definitely come to this conclusion. Omega Shockwave is a skill of the General Executioner. The General Executioner who accompanies me now has collided with the army in this city. As expected, in my eyes, the enemy soldiers who have caused only a small amount of damage to the General Executioner are completely bathed in the Iron Curtain, and Omega Shockwave has not caused them any harm. 6. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In the office of the highest official in the city, dozens of people are arguing. Taking the initiative is the only way to defeat the enemy. God says that the enemy comes from another world and has endless reinforcements. Only by driving out all of them on our plane, at least all of them, can we ensure our safety. The outside world may have fallen completely. At least all of our former allies have changed their flags, and they are openly betraying us. We have no way to do so. Shrinking defense is the only way to solve the urgent situation. The enemy's defense line is clearly approaching the city, and we will eventually find their flaws if we persist. At least there is still a part of the sky that belongs to us. Our Iron Curtain can also bless us invincible in the world. Attack more and use space to buy time. God will not always favor us. We need to open up the situation as soon as possible, otherwise we will eventually become slaves of the lost country. The strategy of war was repeatedly formulated on the table, and ultimately a one that everyone could accept was chosen. I stood on the head of the general's executioner, overlooking the human coalition rampaging through my troops, with wounds everywhere they passed. They had cavalry, infantry, and air cavalry, and all the beasts under their crotch could fight against my main station tank. Waving their claws often could fly a vehicle, and their flesh was very powerful. However, their physical disadvantage was also obvious. Without the help of the Iron Curtain, they might soon be torn apart under artillery fire. I cannot accept meaningless casualties when ordering ordinary troops to retreat from the battlefield. I have instructed the generals, executioners, and relief ships who attack high and defend high to hold them back first, that is, to fight back as much as possible after being beaten, 
while the rest of the troops follow the orders of the deputy commander and head to other safe areas. I suddenly remembered that I have a beehive that can use nanotechnology to achieve the effect of an arena, which is to deploy a beehive and isolate enemy and friendly forces. The specific situation is as follows. After a brief consumption between my ordinary troops and the human coalition forces in the Iron Curtain state, they gradually withdrew, and the relief ships, generals, and executioners made contact with the human coalition forces. If there were no deputy commander, I would need to estimate the extent of the general's executioner's injuries, as it would carry out a powerful self-destruct after its death, similar to all of my troops having a glorious self-destruct agreement. If the safety range between it and other troops is not controlled, the result will be a very painful lesson. Every few minutes, the general's executioner exits to the tank factory for repairs. After the first batch of generals and executioners successfully retreated from the battlefield, I launched a beehive. With a huge light shield isolating the enemy troops, I learned the next war strategy. To isolate the enemy as much as possible with a beehive. As dozens of light masks appeared on the battlefield one after another, the enemy showed a tendency to retreat. Of course, there were also some who wanted to actively attack, but under the influence of the honeycomb, they all turned into illusions. If there were a strategy of launching attacks from the beginning, the victory of this war would not have come so easily. The question is. How to break through the enemy trapped in the Iron Curtain state? The answer is. Wait for the Iron Curtain to fade. There is absolutely no way. When I captured a portion of the enemy troops, the Human Alliance also had their discussion. It seems that it is more effective to launch attacks everywhere. God's grace can last for a summer. Our soldiers can spend all their time fighting without eating or drinking. I suggest starting to attack everywhere, trying to annihilate the enemy as much as possible, destroy the enemy's headquarters, and kill the enemy's leaders. Let's all listen to everyone. The beginning of war determines its outcome. As an unjust aggressor, I ultimately suffered the punishment of fate. In just one month, even if the construction of the beehive is increasing as much as possible, it cannot gain a tactical advantage in nearly a million enemy numbers. Just an iron curtain is enough to make my troops feel good. At the end of the war, I tried my best to accommodate the remaining troops and even transported them to the moon. This is also within my plan. On the moon, I watched as the buildings hidden in the deep mountains were destroyed one by one, and the friendly views on the map were eliminated one by one. My heart felt a bit heavy. How can I win this war against the invincible enemy? Continuing to struggle, they will eventually have a head that spans a huge distance between the moon and the planet, to fight against the invaders of war. The deputy commander is still preparing for the arrival of the next war. The fact is that there are no mineral veins on the moon for mining trucks to work on, which means that my army has lost endless reserves and only limited funds are available to support its operation. My plan is to prepare a base on the moon first. Fortunately, funding allows, and the deputy commander can also build a super wave destruction device and a beehive. After everything has entered the planned track, I have made up my mind to go alone to investigate the planet. It is not that spies cannot replace my work, but that spies are destined to be unable to survive under the enemy's invincible forces. I have come to a town that still belongs to me. When I came down, the residents were greeting me, asking them not to speak up and to try their best to maintain their original way of life. Half a month later, the human coalition arrived here and upon arrival, they said, kill all of them, leave no chickens or dogs behind. I walked out of the crowd and came to the front-line commander surrounded by local troops. I asked, why slaughter my people? We can surrender and use it for you. The front-line commander remained expressionless and said, after speaking, we should go on our way. I broke free from the soldiers who were trying to restrain me and flew into the sky, threatening my enemy in the air. You will regret it. After speaking, he flew towards the moon. A month later, I found out that my human troops could cause damage to the human coalition. Order the deployment of the super-energy wave destruction device. 
This time, we have achieved the expected results. Half a week later, I arrived at the headquarters of the Human Alliance and asked the commander of the Human Alliance who had deployed me, how did you initially ignore my superpower wave destruction device? He said, it's all the protection of the gods. And showed me the location of the gods. The next day, I rushed to the location of the deity in their mouth. It was a deep well with no water in it. There was a room at the bottom of the well, and there was a person living inside. When I came in front of him, I knew he wasn't my person. I asked him in confusion, how did you do that? He thought for a moment and said, everything is the will of the gods. Please follow me. Speaking led me into another door. Passing through the door, I found myself on another planet. There was a huge red eye in the sky, staring at the human world. He pointed to the huge eye in the sky and said, that's God. Is this my goal this time, with a huge volume and empty pupils? 7. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. It takes a lot of effort to destroy a main building with a superpower wave destruction device, and targets larger than ordinary planets can basically be declared useless. Summon the General Executioner to use the Omega Shockwave to destroy this planet like God. The result is declared useless. The deputy commander told me that this planet god is in the Iron Curtain and cannot be destroyed. I thought for a moment, enlarged my body infinitely, and soon stood on the planet, looking up at the huge deity above my head. I don't know why he still didn't look at me. Maybe he has already died. He reached out and touched his eyes, but there was no response. I tried to embrace him and multiply on him with the organs that proliferated on my body. Soon, after a few months, my body wrapped around him like one hand holding an egg. I couldn't destroy his structure, nor did I destroy his weapons. My proliferating organs slowly merged with this planet god at a strange frequency, and soon, a few years later, this planet god became a part of me. At the moment when it became a part of me, the deity sent a message. Well done, the next war is coming. After speaking, my vision changed again, and this time I reached a high altitude. There is a base vehicle on the body. It said to me. Welcome back, commander. The deputy commander has been imported. Salute to the commander. A space station floats alone next to me. The people inside may have been excited about my sudden appearance on this planet. Not long ago, someone floated out of the space station, caressing my body and taking photos, but sampling was not possible. Not long after, he drifted back. In the space station. His hands trembled with excitement and he muttered to himself, it can't be a wormhole, can it? How could such a big thing appear? I need to quickly get in touch with the ground. I need to quickly get in touch with the ground. Quickly, the contact was connected. He truthfully reported this news to the command center. As the command center looked at the photos he sent, they were caught up in mechanical preparation and work, everything was in an orderly manner. You need to explore and measure around this non-gravity or microgravity planet that violates natural laws. After a brief moment of excitement, the astronaut came to me, floating alone in the air. He had a tool in his hand scanning me, spinning around, and finally discovered the difference between me and other planets. He has eyes. He has eyes. He, he's looking at me. Ground Command Center. Don't be nervous, Exploration 1. That's just one of the common illusions of high-altitude exploration. Don't panic. We're all watching you. He stared at me with wide eyes and responded calmly to the command center, I saw his pupils contracting. The light here seems to be responding to him. I mean, he's looking at me. The command center looked at the big-eyed photo that came back, and this time they lost the confidence that it was an illusion. Don't be nervous. This is just one of the common reactions of organisms to light. We are discussing the final outcome of this matter. Please continue to explore this star ball, which may be a biological object. As the astronaut floats to the left, my eyes look to the right. 
As he floats to the right, I look to the left and stare at him all the time. I couldn't hear what he said, but I could see that he had a heart-to-heart -heart gesture towards me, clearly in a photo-taking position. Perhaps his mental state was not quite normal. He swallowed his saliva and calmly drifted away from me. I could feel his gaze scanning up and down in my eyes. At this moment, fifteen minutes have passed since I came here. The base on my body has expanded to the point where I can launch high-dot-energy wave destruction devices at any time. I hesitated, does this war really need to start immediately? Will there be a stronger and more eerie opponent waiting for me than last time? Is it a bit hasty to make such a hasty decision to start? Okay, I know that all gifts of fate come with a price, and I may not be able to pay the price of the fate I have already received. That means this time is very likely to be my last survival time. I didn't move, I just ordered the relief ship to come over the astronaut's head. The voice of the deputy commander came from the relief ship, and with my signal, her voice reached the ears of the astronauts and ground command center. She said, we brought war. But before that, we need to talk. Maybe we're not opponents. The ground command center faced the relief ship and quickly received feedback from others. They discussed, this is the ultimate weapon relief ship of the Red Alert 3 Empire. Did we get something wrong? That's right, this is the product of the game. Isn't it a guest from another dimension? I support being the pioneer of wormhole origin. It's highly likely. I guess this is alien's bad taste. Our astronaut probably got cold. Did you pass on the news to the leader? I need his idea. I look at this beautiful planet, and the base on my body is still expanding. At least there are not too many super wave destruction devices and beehives. Quickly, my funds were depleted. The expansion of the base has come to a halt. There are many things I don't know, such as the command center saying to the astronauts, return to the space station, retrieve the nuclear bullet, this time we may have to sacrifice you. I don't know how to use Iron Curtain. It was a patent from the previous World Federation of Humanities. Although this power comes from me, I don't know how to use it. I just passively apply it to the surface of my body. Just like the inspiration for submarines comes from fish, not all fish can dive to the depth that submarines can dive. The astronaut quickly disappeared from my field of vision, and upon seeing this, I turned my gaze entirely to the planet in front of me. There are many buildings and small humans on the planet, and most of them are also looking at me. I don't know if it's raining, the clouds are thick and vast, and humans probably can't see me either. When did the thing above appear? It seems like there's a big eye on it. Yeah, this is someone lingering in selfies. The astronaut returned to the space station, took out a large ball, and stuffed it into his backpack. Slowly drifting out of the space station, drifting towards my body, and at this moment I don't know about this matter. Otherwise, I would definitely have to respond, otherwise who knows if he would suddenly be excited and detonate this bomb with infinite potential on me. A few hours later, I was still gazing at this planet. And the deputy commander is also trying his best to establish contact with humans. With intermittent audio communication, I feel a bit uneasy about our technological level. I asked the deputy commander, which of them or you has a high technological level? She said, nanocores do not have this information. Our military has its own contact information, and according to the perspective that military technology is leading civilian technology, we are not inferior to them. I don't know what the deputy commander is saying this time. There may be communication barriers between us that are inevitable between different countries. Why do I always feel that she is smarter than me, even though she is my offspring? Leave everything to the deputy commander, after all, I have no experience in this area. Actually, my actions were wrong. If I had known about her communication with humans, would definitely not have let her communicate with humans alone. No matter how bad it is, make her shut up. Her communication with humans is as follows. At the beginning, she said, my army is invincible and fearless of life and death. 
it's best for you to cooperate with me in searching for my opponent. My opponent must be a powerful and similar existence to me. Ground Command Center. Oh, it turns out to be a guest from another world. May I ask what is the basis for your army's invincibility? And why is it not afraid of life and death? If there is an opponent you mentioned on this planet, we will definitely provide you with relevant intelligence. She said, we have never had a failure so far. She clearly forgot about the forced strategic shift in the previous war. She said, the never-ending war is our pursuit and command. Faced with us, your spirit is weak and powerless, and you should cooperate with us for the planet inspection. Are you ready? Ground Command Center. Why pursue an endless war? This is not a request from your gods, is it? Our gods do not have such a situation happening. She said, what? Do you also have gods? Is that what I understand? Is it a planet, a tentacle monster, a powerful human individual, or a discourse that rises in your consciousness? Ground Command Center Speaking of tentacle monsters, we have octopuses and octopuses here. I don't know if the symbols match your understanding of tentacle monsters. Among our divine creations, only intelligent ones have tentacles. Perhaps our understanding of tentacles is different from yours. Please listen to the following audio and convert them into images according to the X equals Y relationship. This is what octopuses and octopuses look like. Please listen to Hashtag 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 Dot The deputy commander calmly listened to the audio for these few minutes, and after listening, she said, I don't understand what you're doing. But I think you're fooling me. Are you ready to taste the bitter fruit of defeat? Without my permission, how dare she threaten humans who are not sure if they are enemies. Ground Command Center It seems that you haven't developed the corresponding technology yet. May we not harm you. Let's talk about the appearance of tentacles. Perhaps we can reach a consensus. Speaking of which, contact has been cut off. After a while, it was connected again. Ground Command Center did you cut off the connection between us? Is it certain that war will break out between us? Deputy Commander. It's clearly you. I can calculate if you want war, so I. Ground Command Center. Wait, we don't want to talk to a stubborn little girl. Please call out your leader. Our leader wants to communicate with you. Deputy Commander. In that case, okay. I advise you to be more respectful, you don't know how great he is. He connected me to this channel. Just winning a few world wars, isn't it great? I don't know how to talk to human leaders, at least it shouldn't be saying hello. So, I fell silent. Looking forward to the words of human leaders. 8. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In the end, a moment of silence ended in a disconnection. Perhaps they want to release some signal through silence. I think so. The Human Ground Command Center is organizing the intelligence they have collected. They are very likely artificial intelligence, very likely a probe of extraterrestrial life on us, very likely the vanguard of invasion. As for why their leader has no voice, we can get the following opinions. They have relevant technology, they can talk without sound, their leader is not present, they have found our leader's position, and are deciding to deploy relevant weapons through positioning. I really don't want to be the last one. Why doesn't our leader speak? I understand now, it's creating psychological pressure and creating opportunities for peaceful coexistence with unknown aliens. Hey, why am I so smart? I pondered that they may not have been prepared for communication, after all, they were not at all prepared for their first time communicating with aliens. I don't think aliens want to start a war immediately. How could it be unprepared? As far as I know, this must be a psychological game. I don't know which one has the upper hand. I look at the dense atmosphere of the planet right now. I had an idea. The previous one was Iron Curtain, could this one be the weather controller? 
the fact proves that I was wrong. This is my idea of facing the human beings pointing at me on the ground a few months later. If there were a weather controller, wouldn't so many people see me, right? The discussion at the ground command center finally reached a consensus. Most likely, the planet in the sky is a deadly weapon of aliens. As for the eyes on the planet, it should be a product of poorly tuned biological weapons, or it itself is a weapon. Call Discovery 1, Call Discovery 1, is it already in place? The forgotten astronaut sent a question. Didn't I send you a message a long time ago? Didn't you take a look? There are so many buildings on the back of this planet, you'd better take a good look. Our mistake. No matter how bad it is, it can't be much worse, can it? Architecture. Interesting. When they click on the information, a series of architectural images come to the screen, it seems that there really exists a world of red alarms. How could there be a relief ship? Do you even have a super wave destruction device? The astronaut received an instruction to move forward a certain distance, drop the nuclear bullet, and quietly leave. At this moment, I still haven't noticed anyone infiltrating my base, and perhaps the deputy commander hasn't either. After all, there hasn't been any war yet, so how can I care if a neutral character has left anything behind? However, shortly after the astronauts left, the relief ship landed and took the nuclear bomb away from its position, heading towards high altitude, in front of my eyes. The deputy commander said to me, this is something suspected of being a bomb that has been discovered. What should we do? Let's have a chat with humans. The deputy commander had a discussion with humans about why there was a bomb at the base, and in the end, the astronauts took the bomb with them. I'll say that Ball is their leader. At least it's also a positioning for frontline commanders, said a visionary person. However, humans did not value him because he was not the protagonist. The protagonist was me hanging on the track from beginning to end. War will start sooner or later, but the opponent may not necessarily be humans. A few months later, the deputy commander reached a consensus with the human side that our opponent is the human god, and the human god has never appeared, at least not in public. What a towering image this is. On the contrary, my image has become a stain on me, and the planet hanging in orbit was no longer in the boss image library of its inhabitants decades ago. There is no chance for me to appear as a character on both sides. The latest one is nothing more than Death Star, which is an important part of classic movies. Compared to the Death Star, whether it's a mobile or a focused annihilator, I'm not on top of it. There's only one, sturdy, and I have the confidence to take on all the attacks. That day, that night, that mature night, I was still being pointed and photographed by the humans on the ground as usual. I felt an idea in my mind that was gradually taking root and becoming deeply ingrained. I want a child, a child of humanity. Ah, this is such an indescribable prayer. I, who am no longer human, actually want a human child. Isn't the will of the universe teasing me? Looking down at humanity, observing which one is worth sowing, finally, no one can, ah, my prayers are shattered and shadowless at this moment. Adhering to my last idea, the deputy commander made a request to the human leader on my behalf. The commander needs a human woman to breed offspring for him. Ground Command Center. If you want to fight, then fight. He fired countless missiles at me. In an instant, my superpower wave destruction device and honeycomb were deployed one after another. Is this time we all perish together? No, my body is still perfect, my thoughts have never changed, but all the humans on the planet bow down to pay tribute to me. My eyes look towards humanity, and none of them are the breeding ground for my descendants. Inside the honeycomb light wall, the deputy commander said to me, superpower wave destruction device, the honeycomb is in countdown. Ten years of great reform, start. With my command, all the humans on the planet have devoted themselves to reform. Ten years later. Perhaps it's not time. The last man that made building was knocked down, and the deity sent a message. The next war is starting. 
The eyes were full of strange and varied lights, and the vision changed. This time, while I was in the forest and the base vehicle was on the planet, I still had the shape of a ball, closely attached to this planet. Welcome back, Commander. The Deputy Commander has been imported. Salute to the Commander. Ten minutes later, I decided to deploy a superpower wave destruction device in a deserted corner, following the existing pattern. Let me brainwash the lives of the world, take them under my command, and then carry out a decade of major reforms. However, accidents often occur unexpectedly, and this time the high dot energy wave destruction device did not achieve the expected effect. I saw a green figure walking out of the tree. Her appearance was what I liked, and her voice was pleasant. She said, Enemies who destroy nature, you will taste the anger of nature. After speaking, a meteor shower fell from the sky, and the trees shook at one frequency. My base was destroyed by her means. But so what, my body is still flawless. She said, if this strange planet suddenly appears, let it go to interstellar space. Before taking action, she circled around me and noticed my big eyes. She said, so it's a creature. It seems like it's a strange creature from outside the domain. I guess you're also evil. Forget it, let's make you my companion. This is your luck. After speaking, a rainbow flowed out of my fingers and sprayed onto my eyes. My volume quickly shrank, transforming into a young man with black hair and red eyes, completely naked, with no physical features on my hands. As I exited the planet state, I immediately lost many thoughts, such as having humans give birth to a child for me, having my planet look flawless, or launching a war to unify the world. Ah, why is this? What am I doing? I looked at my body, lost in a moment of confusion, as if the dream I had been pursuing had been forgotten. I knew I needed to rule the world, but did I change my mind? She said, I am the daughter of nature, and you are my animal companion. I don't know why you chose to look like a human, but I... I didn't hear what she was saying clearly, and my heart was extremely chaotic. This must be the reason why her skills were not up to par. As a victim, I said, how did you stop my superpower wave destruction device? And, what is your position? From her words, I learned that this is a plane of swords and magic, with various rules as mischievous as fish. Now is the era of elves and nature, and the civilization of magic has reached its peak. My superpower wave destruction device, although unparalleled in power, is still a harmless type in the forest of the daughter of nature. At least the giant wolf in front of me is theoretically more dangerous than my superpower wave destruction device. She said, white hair can transform into a magical spring, radiating pure natural energy to the surroundings and bringing everything back to the embrace of nature. And I am its owner. The owner of this forest. The statement that radiates natural and pure energy to the surroundings makes me feel familiar. I asked, is it emitting sunlight or an explosion? The daughter of nature said, it is the miraculous power that makes stones grow flowers and soil turn into life. My name is Rosanala Jadri, what is your name? Jirwei Guan. Okay, I'll call you Jirwei Guan in the future. 9. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Faced with the boring forest life, I chose to sleep. According to Rosanna Jadri, the daughter of nature, she only has a lifespan of 300 years. I don't care, I just throw my time into sleep, wanting to spend the short period of being controlled by others. One day, Rosa came to play with me and said, There are many elves outside of nature. They asked me where the red planet with eyes has gone. What should I say, wow? I smiled nonchalantly and said, Who is the truth? Are you stupid? She was taken aback and told me that elf society is a shared society, and as an animal companion, I am likely to be borrowed to participate in human competitions. I asked her, is it a gladiatorial arena? A bloody arena? She shook her head. At this moment, the elves came to me, wondering why there was an extra human here. The leading elf asked me, who are you? 
how could you be here? I hugged Rosa and said with a smile, I am her husband. Don't think it's strange, after all, she already knows my beauty. Do you think it's Rosa? Rosa was a bit panicked, like a kitten caught, and said in a daze, we are lifelong companions. How can you deceive people? The elves are waiting for my explanation. I looked at them with my red pupils and slowly explained, I am that planet. What do you have to do? Elf. It's nothing, I just want to study it. What suddenly appeared next to the daughter of nature, do you think it might be a last resort left by evil forces? The daughter of nature refused to accept this statement and stopped her hand reaching out to me, saying, don't think that his black hair is evil. You should know that most humans have black hair. Elf. I didn't say such things. Next, they engaged in a series of discussions on whether evil people would not behave kindly. Finally, Rosa revealed a part of the truth about the superwave destruction device. The elf said seriously, can you expect a person with such means to be kind? We will tell the leader this news. Rosa, you can wait here. After speaking, they left. I, who was waiting for judgment, and Rosa, who was feeling a bit sad, were left behind. I asked her, according to the rules, what is very likely to happen next. She said, you will be taken to the capital and presented to the queen. But you are my animal companion, why didn't you just say it at first? Soon, before the judgment of the elf forces was made on me, the evil they spoke of extended an olive branch to me first. Looking at the ghostly skeleton in the water, my face remained expressionless. The skeleton said, your evil is unparalleled, and I can feel the profound malice that the moment you appear has on this world. I believe you will not refuse to become one of us, will you? I learned from his words that there are many forces in this world. Elf forces occupy the forests of the continent, humans occupy the plains, and other regions have their own forces. Among them, the most dangerous is the Evil Alliance, whose full name is the Stargazing Tower. I asked him, how will you give me freedom? Kill Rosa. Do you want to do it yourself? The skeleton was waiting for my determination, but it had already been aborted by Rosa's means. My confusion was boundless. I shook my head and said, I won't report you, I won't participate in you. You can do it yourself. Also, Rosa, it's best not to move. I'm useful. Ha ha ha, truly an evil star. If it were for Rosa's spell in life, you wouldn't have your own thoughts, would you? You still have your own judgment. Without Rosa as the main one, we will eventually have your place among us. I look forward to it. After speaking, the skeleton illusion disappeared. The water belongs to a boy with red eyes and black hair. I looked up at the sky and wondered if these three hundred years were just a waste of time. Rosa came behind me and hugged me, murmuring to herself, You've been on my mind lately. What should I do? I said, you need to meet more people. Then you'll understand me. Rosa. Have you seen more people? At this moment, the fragments of my base scattered in the forest, along with the remnants of the generals, executioners, and relief ships that once existed, have all turned into a cup of lust. I said to her, war never ends, you have lost so much power in vain. Rosa. Nature doesn't like war. I don't like it either. Several years have passed, and Rosa and I have also had several children, each with their own names. That day, the elf came again and said, Your Majesty requests that you go and meet. These children are not allowed. In desperation, I had no choice but to foster my child in the elf's home, and Rosa and I went to the elf's capital. On the road, I saw the prosperity of human cities. In the tavern, I laughed and watched the wizard play chess and cards. In the bustling city, I bought my favorite small goods and exchanged them for goods. I hardly gained anything, and Rosa did the same. Walking and stopping on the road, it took a long time to reach the capital of the elves. The elf queen received us and said, It's great that such a powerful evil can be accepted as one of us by Rosa. 
It should be rewarded. She gave me a sword and a set of matching swordsmanship, and she said to me, this swordsmanship relies on existence as a leverage. The stronger your own existence, the stronger it becomes. If you cannot reach the highest level of cultivation in three months, it indicates that you have ulterior motives, and I will order you to be strangled to death in the stands. I asked her, what does having dissent mean? She said, if you constantly think about destruction and bad things, you cannot reach the highest level. I smiled and said, if it's just not destructive, this swordsmanship is very suitable for me. She added, also, don't think about bad things. This is my advice to you. Me. Can this sword technique emit light cannons? She said, no. But it can correct your personality. I said, what kind of personality will I become? She said, kindness. After thinking for a while, it's a bit confusing for me. Let's practice according to what she said. So, over the course of three months, I practiced diligently and finally reached the highest level. That night, the Empress asked me to dance a sword for her to see. I thought about it for a moment, but that's okay. Drawing swords, dancing swords, and dancing elf swords are like dancing. Along the way, there are often bursts of energy, forming a large number of special effects. The dazzling illusion appears like a vortex of flowing water with my sword dance. I don't know how much this swordsmanship can help in war, but I can see that this swordsmanship is very fancy, and I inexplicably feel a bit ashamed. As a great man, I dance this kind of sword. After finishing the dance, the elf queen smiled and said, You have already entered the room, it's great. It seems Rosa didn't misread you. I said, since I have proven myself, when can I go back with Rosa? She said, war is not something that nature loves. I can see that you like war because this swordsmanship has already told me. What are you really thinking? This kind of question is not appropriate, is it? I thought for a moment and said to her, I wonder what adults think of unifying the world. She said, sit and watch. Why are you asking this? I said, Sir, I admire those who rule the world. I hope one day I can do the same. That's why I love war. She said, I see. How could you admire such people? It's better to invest more in the construction of social life. We elves are enough in the forest. We don't have enough strength. Your ideas cannot be implemented here. I hope you can overcome your evil. You can leave with Rosa at any time. I retreated and returned to the place where Rosa lived. Rosa's new friend is communicating with her. I listened and my new friend was complaining about not finding a partner. I interjected, you can't get advice from Rosa. She doesn't even know how we got together. The new acquaintance said, then you won't be happy. Rosa, you should carefully consider whether to continue living with him. Rosa. We're already like this, of course I want to be with him for a lifetime. Don't advise me. In the evening, I discussed the idea of returning to the forest with Rosa, but she said it was not easy to come to the capital and we should have fun. I said there was no place worth visiting in this city, but she didn't believe it. Starting from that evening, Rosa and I began to stroll around the city. The elf tavern was very good, the elf library was also very good, and the elf's aesthetic standards were very good. After learning about the unique offering system of the elves, we finally returned to the forest in full enjoyment. This is a world of magical civilization, where all problems can be solved by magic. Rosa and I spent decades living in the forest, and when humans began to attack the forest, I naively thought it would continue like this. The supernatural magic covered this forest, and we couldn't escape from the beginning. I estimated that there would be at least a few dozen minutes of free time before humans arrived here. I said, let my army help you. She hesitated for a moment and agreed. 10. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. My army was quickly formed. With the formation of the giant robot and the fleet in the sky, my superpower wave destruction device is also ready. 
As I deployed, a sound echoed in the ears of all creatures, and all the creatures in this world became my belongings. Rosa said, You, who are you? I smiled and said, The unifier of the world. In the following decade, the world was plunged into a major reform. Ten years later, I waited for the late arrival of the deity's words. The next war begins. The eyes were filled with endless changes, and ultimately fell into silence. This is a place with four moons. Before the deployment of my base vehicle, which was just the moment I opened my eyes, a person appeared in front of me. He was an old man wearing a Taoist robe, holding a Qingfeng sword, and said to me, Outland demons. If you capture them without restraint, I will not harm you at all. My base vehicle made a sound at this moment. Welcome back, Commander. The Deputy Commander has been imported. Salute to the Commander. Upon hearing these words, the old Taoist airing a Taoist robe swung a sword energy and shattered my base vehicle. I smiled and said, Where do you come from? He said, Stargazing Tower. Stargazing Taoist. May I ask who your Excellency is? I said, Jirhui Temple, the gods have made me bring unity to this world. I advise you not to use your praying mantis as a chariot. He looked up at me with a long smile, then waved his sword towards me. I created things out of thin air, which is a part of the ability of the evil god. I pinched a sword and engaged in a clanging battle with the old Taoist. Soon, my special effects gradually appeared, and the old Taoist fell into a state of initial defeat. I distracted and said to him, You surrender. I won't kill you. Three days and three nights later, the old Taoist was knocked down by me due to fatigue. I showed mercy, otherwise he would have died long ago. A mouthful of saliva turned into a base vehicle, expanding my base on this land. Ten minutes later. Everything is ready. Deployment of superpower wave destruction device. A voice came from the ears of all the creatures on this planet, brainwashing them. A small portion of them, who had a path of enlightenment, couldn't believe the power of this miracle. Are you a demon in your heart? Impossible. How could I fall into such a situation? One by one, he became my subordinate. In the situation where some people were in the Chow camp and their hearts were in the Han, the ten dot year reform began. I transformed into a red planet with eyes, flew into orbit, and looked down at this planet from a high altitude. Over the past decade, people have come to understand one after another. At first, they were indeed involuntary, but now they have all accepted the fact that I am their commander. However, their communication was still somewhat confusing. Red Planet, Unify the World The more you think about it, the more reliable it becomes. Only the Red Planet is our Lord. We must be loyal, sincere, and ultimately attain spiritual and physical sublimation, returning to the great freedom of heaven and earth. So, I watched from high altitude as this planet became what I hoped for, and in the end, nothing happened. All buildings were overturned and rebuilt. Everyone becomes my people. This world has been unified. The word of God has yet to come. I don't know what to do next, I have to return to the people and find all the solutions. That day, that night, I found the first method. Because someone staged a scene in front of me where they suddenly disappeared and never appeared again. I think this is related to my progress not being satisfactory. I am learning about the extraordinary power of this world while searching for a solution to this matter. Finally, 300 years later, I received a message from the highest performing person here. I've been feeling called out lately. Commander, what should I do? I looked at him and felt very uncomfortable. How many inexplicable people have disappeared? If there is no progress, what should I do? I asked him, do you have any eyebrows? He said, I suspect there is a big problem in this world. For example, fish swimming in shallow waters and not thinking about Gu Yuan. Is it the end of the world? Perhaps there is a portion. I thought for a moment and realized that this might have been caused by another evil god, so in the days to come, 
I will try my best to stay with this person. Until noon, he approached me and said with a smile, I seem to be going. Commander, take care. The moment I held on to him, my eyes were no longer the same. A sitting Buddha in the sky. A standing bodhisattva on the ground. There is a Taoist in the lotus on the sea. I have come to another world, where there is wind and water, but there are no birds, beasts, or fish. It belongs to the world of people. Welcome to the virtual world, where there are Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and Taoists. It is a world belonging to the unified human race I don't care about so much, I feel like there's no danger around me, so I walked out of the city with my own people, and the woman didn't stop me. Finally, my base was deployed in an unmanned wilderness. Ten minutes later, the super wave destruction device was also ready. With my command, this world came under my control, but the next second, the Buddha's eyes were angry, the Bodhisattva was in tears, and even the Taoist broke free from the brainwashing control of my superpower wave destruction device. In addition to the whispers still being spoken, there was another voice in the world. The voice came from the Buddha and he said, how ignorant demons dare to cause such a great disaster. The ten dot year reform began in the voice of Buddha. Until Buddha suppressed me in his palm of the Buddha kingdom, my people were still carrying out my plans. Evil, what is your plan? I said, unify the world and achieve new buildings replacing old ones. Let everyone live a good life. Buddha said, although evil spirits have the heart to help the world, their means are harsh and it is difficult to achieve their wishes. I said, it's better to wait and see if the world is still the same. Good. After ten years, this world has achieved my goal. Even after the Buddha smiled and watched me disappear, this world is still this world. Goddess. The next war begins. I brought the base vehicle, and the base vehicle took me to the border of the five dynasties and ten kingdoms, which is a war.torn area. My base grew and expanded in just ten minutes, and with an explosion, the world became peaceful. Whispers echo in the ears of all living beings. I said, the ten dot year reform has begun. The world has been carrying out the work I hope with a thunderous roar. Ten years later, everything will return to my goal. The deity said, the next war begins. There is endless change in front of us. The base vehicle said, welcome back, commander. The deputy commander has been imported. Salute to the commander. I am thinking, is my strength really useful? With the accumulation of multiple worlds, I now have no idea how strong I have become. While I ponder. The rapid expansion of the base. Soon, the first high dot energy wave destruction device was successfully deployed. And this time it didn't go so smoothly.